Are you ready for a fresh perspective? It rained here in Minnesota last night. It's beautiful and green. The birds are happy and it's time for a new perspective. We have a scripture this morning that encourages us also to have a different perspective. So this comes from the book of Luke, chapter two, verse 29. This is the Passion Translation. Don't let worry into your life. Live above the anxious cares about your personal needs. People everywhere seem to worry about making a living, but your heavenly Father knows your every need and will take care of you. Each and every day he will supply your needs as you seek his kingdom passionately above all else. So don't be afraid, dearest friends. Your loving Father joyously gives you his kingdom realm with all its promises. So this morning we're gonna do a little Qigong. We are going to seek the kingdom while we do it. And we're gonna start by doing an I Qi Gong. An I Qi Gong stretches the eyes, not only physically, but also just helps us see things from a better perspective. So we're gonna start by just looking to the left and the right. Just move your eyes back and forth. And then we're gonna go up and down. down, up, down, one more up and down. And I'll just let your eyes rest for a minute. And now we're going to make circles. So just go clockwise first, start and then up and around. And this time just kind of notice any places that skip. Circle around, notice anything that's skipping. All right, stop and close your eyes. Now go back to those places that it was skipping and just kind of paintbrush over it, kind of smooth it out. Paintbrush over those spots that were skipping. And then do another circle, nice and smooth. Okay, rest them for a second. Now we're gonna go the other way, circle around the other way. Again, notice any spots that are skipping. And then go back and smooth those skipping spots out like, like a paintbrush. Smooth it right out. And then one more time, circle all the way around as smoothly as you can, just nice and slow. Now just close your eyes and rest. Take a nice deep breath. Now smile and breathe in again. And out. Now go ahead and get in a comfortable position with your feet shoulder width apart. Put your elbows down on your thighs. And what we're gonna do is just stretch out the spinal cord. We're gonna start with the lower back and then the mid back and then the upper. So put your elbows down. If that's uncomfortable, just use your hands and um, stretch first the lower back. Just turn a little bit and then turn a little further with the mid back and then a little further with the neck. And then come to the center, relax. Now we're gonna go on the other side. Turn the lower back, and then the mid, and then twist all the way at the neck. Back to the center, exhale. And breathe in, as you twist. Twist in the mid, and twist in the head. Breathe through it and come to the center. One more twist. The side and the neck. And come back to the center. Now we're just going to stretch up 
Put your hands above your head. Stretch up on your toes. And then we're going to do a forward fold. So get um, your feet a little further apart so this is comfortable. And then just fold your body all the way down and relax. Let your arms dangle. Let your neck dangle. And roll up. And do another stretch with your arms above your head, on your toes, and forward fold. What this does is give us a new perspective. So while you're down here, just look in between your legs. Look at things upside down. Jesus came with an upside down kingdom. A lot of people say things were backwards. So let's try to look at things from a completely different perspective. Feel a stretch in your legs and in your back. While you're down here, you can massage your hamstrings. Just give them a little massage, massage behind the knees and down the calves. And then pat from the tailbone all the way down. Get some good circulation. We're going to do a cross flow where you just cross your hands in front of your face and then bring them out to the side and you're going to turn your feet to one side so they're facing and leave your hands straight out. This is called the warrior position. And this just gives us a nice expanded view. Then cross your hands in the middle. Turn your feet the other way, and arms out, head to the side. Creativity and a new way of thinking comes when we're still. So take some time to just be still in this little standing meditation. Remember our Heavenly Father said, don't worry about a thing. He takes care of it. It's all taken care of in the kingdom realm. Bring your hands together. Think about that kingdom realm. What does your life look like in the kingdom realm where God is the king? Everything is just as he wants it, like heaven. What does your life look like there? Now bring your hands together in the center and cross. And this time make some fists, two fists, and then hold one hand, one finger up. And you're gonna take that one finger and bring it to the side. And you're going to focus on it. It's like a bow and arrow. Then you're gonna pull the bow. Focus on that arrow, just like you have one area of your life that you're trying to focus on. Give that to the Lord. What does that look like in the kingdom? Now we're going to bring your hands in. Your left hand will cross as if you're going to pull it back and even shift your weight. So bring your weight forward then pull it back. Be very open to what might come to your mind during this time. Whatever this problem is that you're focusing on, you might come up with a heavenly solution, brand new, with your new perspective. Shift your weight in and pull it back. In and back. Make sure your leg is shifting weight too. And back. We'll come back to the center. We're just going to take a second. 
Make sure that your legs are firmly grounded. This is your foundation to your body, just like Jesus is the foundation in your faith. Make sure you're firmly grounded. Cross your hands, make fists. Now do the other finger. Pull that to the other side. You can even point your toes that way. And then pull the arrow back. Now just focus. What's this one goal? What's this one intention? What's this one problem that you're focusing on today? And ask God for clarity. Now shift your weight forward. Open up your hands. Bring your hands together. Cross and then pull that bow back. Bring them together. Shift. Pull it back. Bring them together, shift and pull it back. Holy Spirit, what do you want to tell me today about this problem? Or this area in my life that I'm focused on? Holy Spirit, what do you want me to know? more time. Listen carefully. You bring your hands to the center. Cross over your face. And down. Cross. Now we're going to move into a six direction flow. What this does is just give us new perspective, a wider range, a way of thinking. So, right, so bring your hands up out to rise and then you're going to push and then bring them back in. Then expand and bring them back into the heart and push down. Rise, push out, bring them in, expand, Back to the heart and down. Make sure you've got good posture, your spine is straight, your tailbone is tucked. Rise, push out, bring them in, expand to your heart, down. As you rise, inhale, exhale on the push, inhale as you bring in, exhale on the expand, inhale as you come to the heart, exhale as we push. Rise, push, bring it in, expand to the heart. One more. And just bring that cross over your face again. And now we're just going to bring, go, stay down here and we're going to go do the opposite flow. We're going to switch and we're going to expand through the sides. We're going to bring down that heavenly chi down to your body. Seeking God's wisdom and asking God to pour his wisdom over us. Gather that heavenly chi, heavenly wisdom. Receive those heavenly solutions. Bring your request to God get God's answers. Bring them up and receive his heavenly solutions. No need to worry about a thing, but seek his kingdom. 
your Heavenly Father provides for you and takes care of you as long as you seek after Him and seek after His kingdom. Bring your hands to your heart. Bring your feet together. Just focus on the Lord. Give your heart over to Him. Surrender any worries that you have to Him. These are not your worries. You can give them to Him. He already has a solution. And then be still and wait for your next action step. God will reveal it to you. It may not sound like God's voice that you think it might sound like. It's just going to sound like your own voice. But if you are open to what God has to say, He'll start speaking to you. So we're just going to do a standing meditation. Bring your hands down. Just be balanced with your feet. Close your eyes and breathe in and out. And now just keep breathing naturally and be still and listen for those creative heavenly solutions. Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day.